Hey, Sean Jantz here. I'm going to do a uh, quick battle plan for Friday, June 12th, and I'm going to do it on the Slash ES, which is the US 500, and I'm going to do it on the Slash TF, which is the uh, Russell 2000, Rusty 2000. So, a uh, quick side note, so everybody kind of, a uh, little teaching lesson here, okay? So when you go into your Nadex, I'm just logged into the demo account here, but when you go to US 500 and then click on the daily switch, Notice how it says US 500, and notice how it says June right there. See how it says June? If you go to small cap 2000, it says June, okay? And so if you go to slash ES right now, type in slash ES, and you'll notice this blue line right here, which means what we would call contract rollover. So see how this says September 2015? So this blue line starting tonight, it rolled over to the September contract and so it changes about every um, three months so um, it is now rolled over slash ES on TD Ameritrade is rolled over to September okay so you can see the price right now is 297 and a quarter for September but for June it's uh, if we go over to this US 500 it's actually 2105 so it's quite a ways off so tomorrow we are going to be trading slash ES and then you got to put M and then put 5 for 2015 so notice how it says June right there so now we're matched up with the NATO so 2105 and a quarter go over here 2105 and a quarter okay so just so you know we're going to be trading ES in 5 we're going to be trading slash TF in 5 as well so I'm going to start here on the ES start over here on the daily time frame Obviously, you can see the. Uh, I'm going to start here. Uh, obviously, you can see on that daily time frame a nice little buy trigger. Um, that's why I called buy these date buy these weeklies down here. Two o um, sixty six, I think. I'm also in two o fifty four. Should be easy, easy money down here. Okay, so don't forget about weeklies. Just add that money into your portfolio when you see this daily buy trigger. Look at that trigger right there, right? Come right down into Valley, sorry, come right down into the Keltner. Grab these dailies. All of these dailies, sorry, weeklies have been true. Easy money. Call them live. Hope everybody got in. Uh, so it kind of nice little buy side. And uh, now we move to the four hour chart. And obviously you can see that we made a nice run up. And uh, we made a nice run up into some overbought territory. You can actually see the sell trigger right there. Beautiful day. For um, Thursday, it's just amazing. I love it, right? So I nailed this. This is exactly what I said it was going to look like. Watch last night's battle plan if you need to. I sold 2121 and I also sold 2118. I said these were going to be false and I said go get them. This is basically going to be free money today, right? And so now we got the little bit of a down move. Okay, and it may continue tomorrow. And so obviously I want to maybe look and see, but I think for me, I'm going to need a little bit of a push up, maybe one more try up and it fails, and then I can grab these strikes again. So let's quickly move over uh, to the plot chart. So you can see that we're, we're hitting a little bit of, um, hit a little bit of sell-off here overnight. We're actually starting below value. And so what I'm going to be looking for um, is price to kind of come up in here, make one more shot, and maybe I can grab these strikes right up here. So that's what I'm going to be looking for for tomorrow. Um, I want value area low to hold, and I want settlement and Friday's POC to hold as resistance. And then I can try and grab these daily strikes right there. It may give me the shot to do it. It may not. Right? And so um, could tanks job all the way to the minus 0.5? You can maybe look to buy that. Obviously, I want to try and stay to the sell side. Um, Let's say for an example, if it goes through Friday's POC and, and then it definitely has 80% chance to go up to the upside. So don't forget about that. So basically, let me zoom in. If this goes and breaks up through Friday's POC, more than likely, I'll just go ahead and take a buy spread. So if it goes up here and breaks through Friday's POC and settlement, then I will more than likely spread it up and try and get an 80% rule right there. So uh, if it doesn't, if it kind of comes up around this area, then I want to try and sell dailies right there. 
um, if I can. So that's kind of what I do. But again, we're way down here, so I need a little bit of a push up. See if we can get that. Um, this has all the makings, to be honest, to just kind of fall out of bed overnight. And if it does that, um, please be very careful buying down here. It's Friday. Uh, Fridays, a lot of people move money on Fridays. They're getting the weekend of positions out, right? Um, so please be careful if you're going to try and buy anything um, on Friday. Make sure to... Um, you can ask me too if you if you, if you want to know if that's going to be good or not. Obviously, I'm in those week. Another reason why I like week ones. I'm in currently in 268. I'm in two. Of, I'm way down here chilling on weeklies. And so then when it comes to Friday, you don't really have much to worry about. Just let Friday expire and put money in the bank. So let's quickly move over to slash tfm5. Sorry, slash tfm5. And um, same deal. It looks the exact same. Uh, I nailed this last night, so I sold twelve. I sold twelve seventy four, and I also sold twelve seventy six daily. So obviously you can see why. Come right up here. Star star stars red. Overbought. Now let's get after it, right? And so prices really didn't go anywhere though. So that's beautiful for if you're in the money. Just sell these up here and say that these are going to be false, like I did. So. Um, four hours, four hour triggers are going to make you uh, more money than any other time frame on Nadex, in my opinion. And so, obviously, it looks like it still has a little bit more room to the downside to go. So, if we move over to the plot chart, uh, this one's actually starting down here at Valyrie Low. And so, obviously, what I want to see is a push up into this area, and I grab these strikes up there: 1272, 1274, 1276. Uh, almost Groundhog's Day like yesterday. So I basically, if you watched last night's plan, I said I want to push up to Valyria High and then grab, um, and then I said go ahead, if Valyria High holds his resistance, I said go ahead and grab these strikes um, up here, and I did. It was pretty easy. And so I, I want the same thing because we didn't tank spill, and so um, just, just, just so you know, a lot of times before things tank spill, or before freight trains take off, it usually does this. It usually bulls and bears battle for a day, and then boom. So basically, what you can look for is you can maybe look at a breakout opportunity. So obviously, the sub major support is right here, right around 1265. So we break 1265, look for a retrace, and then you can sell that area right there. I'm gonna be a little bit of cautious of being a buyer tomorrow. I'm gonna let you know if I'm gonna buy. But I'll be a little bit cautious of being a buyer. I am actually currently in a 1277 weekly. So I'm in the 1277 up there. I hope that wins. I can TP now if I want to. But I'm going to go ahead and hold it. I am also in a 1229. I still got to keep going. I am also in a 1229 weekly. But I'm holding for full profit. So I got several weeklies, weeklies that are going to be an expiring tomorrow. You can see why I like getting them on. Because then Friday is payday. So uh, message me if you have any questions on this. Hopefully we can go out strong. I've had an amazing month so far. Not necessarily June. Last I've had an amazing last four weeks. Last four weeks have been phenomenal. So let's hopefully we can just keep this going.